So this is a practice routine that I've come up with that helps you work on developing clusters of balls. So as you can see you have the balls set up in touching pairs in this sort of figure of eight formation and then the, um, the spare red ball and cue ball you can place wherever you want to get the drill started. So I'll be completely honest with you this is not the easiest drill in the world and it's um, probably one that I actually regretted coming up with on about the 50th attempt to actually complete this on camera. Um, but at the same time, it taught me a lot going through um, trying to complete this drill, especially about the fact that it's not just being able to run into the balls. It's about how you run into those balls to stay in control of the table without leaving too much to chance. And you could do this drill sort of smashing the balls around the table and flying into things and hoping that things end up in good positions. But that's not really the point of the drill. The point is to try to stay in control, work from one pair to another, slowly developing the balls as you go and doing it in a controlled manner and thinking about how you're moving those balls into position that keep you in control of the table. And just a little bit of advice before you start, the two balls in the middle will plant to either middle pocket so try and keep those as a safety net in case you run out of position you should be able to get in contact with one of those from pretty much anywhere um, and make that plant so don't break those up unnecessarily keep those in case things go wrong so as i said you can place the, the spare red anywhere you want on the table so i would place it quite close to a cluster so that you can, in a nice controlled way, make it a nice easy pot and just run into the balls without moving anything too much. Um, and we've separated them so they're both now potable. Left ourselves with a nice angle here just to go slightly forward from the tangent line and into these two balls. So you can see it's all quite controlled the way I'm working my way around the table. Um, you don't have to break something up every time you go. So you look at, um, the balls in their positions. Here I've got this ball towards the top end of the table which I don't want to be leaving till later so I'm trying to pot those balls when they're in potable positions and always thinking about how I might run into something. So I'm going to try and use some right hand side here to run down into the next two and just miss those two and gone through the gap. So um, you can see sometimes things go wrong. Um, I could play the, the plant on the two balls that I've left to the middle, but it can actually take this red just above the yellow. You can pot this without having to split these two balls up. And at the same time run into those top balls. Again, in a controlled way, so I'll just split them apart nicely. Now, I could play this red to the middle and run down into the bottom two balls. But again, I've got two balls at the top end of the table and I'd prefer to get them out of the way so that I can then concentrate on the bottom end of the table. So we've got a couple of nice angles here just to be able to drop these two balls in and then use the ball to the middle to run down to the bottom two. So we left ourselves a nice angle again. So the tangent line comes down this way. So we're just gonna come back just a little bit and run into these two. And if we can sort of stay roughly where those two balls are, then we'll have the yellow back to the middle. Split them nicely, obviously relying on a little bit of luck. We could have ended up behind one of those, but played it firm enough that they moved apart and left us on that yellow to the middle. Now we can just drop this in here and we don't need to try and force anything to be on these other two balls because we've got this plant to the middle, which we can now play nicely and try and play up and down the table to run into the black and yellow and just missed that combination there. I actually caught them on the way back. So I got a little bit lucky with that. We probably could have gone into them on a, on a future shot, but we've done that, so that's worked out nicely. Um, the yellow is still a little bit awkward behind the black, so whilst I'm on it here, I'm gonna take this opportunity to play it and just run into the other red in the middle of the table to stop. And now we've got four balls in open space, so it's just about deciding the best route um, to clear up these balls there's several ways you could go about this so i think i'm going to try and just sort of stun across to get fairly straight on the next red not quite got straight so i've got a bit of an angle here so don't want to be playing into this and running down too low onto the yellow so instead i'm going to 
screw back and across into the side cushion and back out to try and be fairly straight on the yellow. Just gone past straight there, which is slightly annoying because that means I'm now going the wrong side of the black back to the middle. So just going to play this with lots of right hand side so that as the ball goes into the cushion, it straightens back up. Come across nicely for that black back to the middle pocket. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.